no. Yeah, I'm going for a little jog. It's the middle of the day, a little warm. I've been going for like five minutes. It's a little toasty. Beautiful views though, so far. And then this one, this one goes up a bit. So it should be a nice view at the top. Definitely a little steep. But there's this, it's getting into be this. So hopefully it's like this the rest of the way. I don't want to stay on the roads, but it looks like there's some good dirt. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. So I think what I might do, cause this just goes up for like another thousand meters or something, thousand feet. I might just follow this. I have a mosey, a mosey of a jog. And then if I'm feeling sparky, then I'll go up. It's banging me, so pretty. Ooh, it's a toasty one out. So I made a, Executive decision. This guy ran this way. Beautiful. Goes down for like a couple hundred meters. And then it's just like beautiful. Like this is these mountain tops. And there's like all these paths that go right along them. Obviously, people hiking or running. It's beautiful. And I, I went up and down a little bit, some of them. And I was just like, middle of the day, heat. Um, also, today's supposed to be an easy day. So not in the mood to throw my, to chuck myself around them, but I'll come back tomorrow morning, I think. Carb up tonight, come back tomorrow morning. I have a lovely time, bring you all along and show you uh, kind of the lower ridges of the uh, Sierra Nevadas. See you tomorrow. All right, next day. But it, pretty much the same spot. 15 degrees cooler Fahrenheit. Oh my God, what a good idea to not go for it yesterday. But again, the difference in performance. I don't know if you've ever been to altitude before or been running at altitude before, but like going uphill at altitude is like one of the biggest, like, um, it's a huge pain, pain in the butt. Cause like the higher you are, lower the pressure of oxygen so basically like the harder it is to breathe for about three weeks three and a half weeks and after living at altitude for three and a half weeks your body produces erythropoietin or epo and then you get an increase in red blood cells and so then you can your body can better shuttle the oxygen you know or so yeah better shuttle oxygen to the working muscles and you breathe easier and all the rest of it. That's why athletes go to altitude. It's essentially a legal way to get EPO. EPO is what um, endurance athletes will drug with. So like Lance Armstrong, for example, was busted for microdosing with EPO. So there actually is an argument that is it ethical to even do altitude training because some people can't afford to go live and train at altitude, right? If they're sea level athletes. Anyways, so I've only been, at, this is a low altitude. It's like just under a thousand meters or like 3000 feet, which is like nothing. Usually like two to 3000 meters or like six, seven, 8,000 feet is where people go. So like um, in the US, you got Flagstaff. Uh, that's a big altitude training center. Uh, there's one a little, there's a smaller one in Mammoth, Mammoth Lakes, California. Um, and then obviously in, in Europe, you've got over here, like just north of where I am actually. Stop for a second. Sorry for the jostling. Um, so just where, north of where I am here in Granada. There's an altitude training center. It's actually 30 minutes away. It's really cool. I haven't been personally, but I see lots of videos of athletes on like this beautiful track and stuff. It's like in the Sierra Nevadas right now. Um, uh, there's one in Fontrumeau, France. And, and the big, the famous one is in Kenya. It's in Kenya, it's like the Rift Valley. It's at like seven, seven and a half thousand feet. Altitude two and a half thousand meters. Anyways, 
I remember the first time I went to altitude. Oh, there's another one in Park City, Utah. So I was in Park City for like a high school for like a skiing trip or something. And I went jogging on the off days. Absolutely smoked. And I was in the middle of track season and stuff too. And like going up hills, like I had to stop like after like 30 seconds just because it just every step was just so much harder and your heart rate's increasing anyway. So this is part of the view I wanted to show you. It's really cool. So um, we'll get a better view in a second, but you've got like the, um, the beginnings of like the true Sierra Nevadas in the background there. And I guess the altitude training center that I was talking about is just straight this way. I think it's like 50K. It's really, really close. And this is Granada. We're like kind of at the top of Granada. So we'll see you in a second. But, um, but yeah, so yesterday I kind of jogged out here as like one of those first day exploration kind of jogs. You weren't know where anything is. And so that's why I have my phone. I didn't usually go with my phone, but didn't want to get lost. And then I, I tooled over here, so there's a little thing that goes up. And I went up to the top, and there's a view up there that'll show you. But I was just so gassed, like I couldn't. Also, it was like way hotter, and it was, it was a few hours later, so good call to not do it yesterday. But I'm gonna get on with this little jiggy jog because I have to be somewhere in like an hour. And um, yeah, show you guys a nice view. And I'll see you in a bit. Solid 20, 20 minute mile up here. Just kind of. Sorry, the camera's bouncy. Don't have my special one with me. So beautiful view. So Granada, south, southern Spain, southeastern Spain, southern Spain. So you're about to see the Sierra Nevadas and all their beautiful splendor, and then Granada. Look at that beautiful running path right there. Maybe you can see way in the back, those are mountains. Beautiful. So there's Granada. And for context, I'll show you a video from the palace here. Right there. So yeah, I'm up on that little hill. What's crazy, this is only like one mile. There's people out there. A little road, I guess. Cool. Man, I really want to go all over that stuff. I don't have time, though. So, it's crazy that this is only like one mile from where I'm staying. It's like, it took me 14 minutes to, to jog my, my chunky self up here, but like, pretty, I mean, like, I started in like a city, like a proper European, like small, narrow, cobbly stones, and I'm here in like 10, 15 minutes. It's pretty crazy. So pretty. Um, just want to show you guys a little something about what I'm doing, a little update. Um, I'm working in, um, in London, working in finance, venture capital, health tech, biotech, really cool, cool stuff, innovative, innovative new technologies, cancer saving tech, um, wearables and stuff like that. Anyways, but things are going well. Um, here in a little holiday in Granada, going to Malaga to the beach pretty soon. Hope you're doing well. I haven't been posting, I apologize. Um, hopefully it'll be a little more regular now. Been in London about six months, feeling a bit more settled. So, so yeah, I'll leave you, this, leave you guys with this 
beautiful view and uh gosh hope you're having uh hope you had a lovely summer and have a beautiful fall i love the mountains it's so nice up here all right see you guys Thank you.